uh, bring up the map. So, I'm going to read the situation doc so you guys do it. Uh, XBit puts a lot of work into the situation doc, and this one's pretty good. So, um, British forces. Uh, the Yanks have been... Uh, Yanks have, have have been having a rough go of it in the core of Valley. They need more. They need to move their forces out. So that's where we come in. We need to keep our security of the Valley against a group calling themselves the Black Knives. Our platoon will perform patrols of various areas and sectors to ensure peace is kept in the core of Valley. So the U.S. forces are pulling out of the area. British forces replacing them. They need to maintain a presence, and they're going to maintain that presence by doing a patrol and maintain. And, and making sure there is nothing fishy going on in the area. Insurgent forces. American forces have been slowly decreasing their presence in the Core Valley. This has given us the opportunity to work our way back into the area and begin to retake key locations. British forces have arrived. They seem very confident in their skill. Let us judge them on the battlefield. So insurgent forces, they see the US forces moving out. They want to move in, retake key positions, um, but the British forces are there. It's time to see what they're made of and if they can uh, bully them out of the area so that way they can continue on with what insurgents do. Pretty simple mission. Uh, the British forces have uh, between two routes, green route, blue route, and uh, they, have to, they have to complete the route they chose. They can't change routes um, mid-mission, so if they choose green, they got to stay green. If they choose blue, they got to stay blue. But... There's, uh, and there are three points, or there are four points in every route. So green route has the, the first point, green and blue route have the one point at the beginning, and then they get to choose their middle point, which is north or south, There's, so they get to choose one of the two points, and then they have their end point they have to, uh, to move to. So they only have to defend, or they only have to patrol three of the locations, they get to choose between the north and south middle points. Um, the insurgents start a squad behind enemy lines in the red areas um, that are you know, insurgents uh, insurgent activity behind enemy lines just sort of scouting the area most likely going to be used as scouts possibly as a back cap because one of the unique things about this op is usually if you're going to patrol the mission if, if four are patrol missions when they put the fob down it is signaled clear and then they can move on this time if they put the fob down and the insurgents come behind them and dig down that fob the, the British have to backtrack and then go retake the area, just 100% make sure it's clear. So it's going to allow the insurgent forces a lot of maneuvering behind enemy lines and, and trying to do what insurgents do best, hit and run tactics, um, Don't they don't want to fight the British head on, they want to choose their engagements and then just back off if it's not advantageous to them. So I'm really going to look for those uh, that those uh, inserts that spawn in the red areas to sort of just be behind end lines, most likely be a scout, and uh, and then and then possibly back up. How's it going, Mister? The operation doc says there's neither squads get vehicles. Is that accurate? Live Ponsky. Um, that is accurate. The it is a strictly infantry op. And speaking of uh, assets, let's go ahead and go over what these guys will have to complete their objectives. British forces. First squad, one squad lead, one fire team lead kit, uh, two automatic riflemen, one light anti-tank kit, and one medic. The platoon armory, which the platoon lead can deal out as he sees fit, are two medium machine guns, two breachers, two ammo bearers, and one extra medic. Um, so the breachers are our, our answer to the scout kits for the uh, conventional forces. Uh, they, they're basically a timed IED or, or a... Uh, Copy. Sorry, I forget. De detonation pack or uh, satchel charge. That's it. That's what it's looking for. The ammo bears are, are again our a modded kit. Basically, we took out, out all of the um, we took out all of the ammo bags from everybody but the ammo bearer and the FTL kit. The FTL kit only gets a 50 ammo bag, a 50 ammo ammunition ammo bag, and that's why they only get one kit. The, each squad will have two fire team leads. But only one of those fire team leads will have the fire team lead kit. Um, cool. So uh, they do not get any vehicles, and the only fobs that will be placed down is just to signify that they've completed their, uh, or you know, they've they've patrolled that area, and the area is secure. Insurgent forces: first squad, one squad lead, one automatic rifleman, one light anti-tank kit, and one medic. Their optional hideout squad, if they want to have that squad behind enemy lines, is one squad lead, two automatic riflemen one scout and one medic the platoon armory 
two extra scouts. So we're going to look for those IEDs in the mines. Less than useful, so there's no vehicles, but those IEDs are going to be key for the insurgents. For uh, uh, Really what they're going to want to do is place the IED, draw the British into the kill zone, blow it, and then fall back. Or fall back and then blow it. Alright guys, wait for the last guy to get in here. Alright, everybody, welcome to Operation Tarantula Hawk. I am not your commander today. Your commander today is Revy. Uh, he is having some technical issues. So while he's getting in the game, I'm going to brief you guys really quickly on what our objective is today. So, our objective here in Tarantula Hawk, we're going to be placing down a total of two fobs. Um, or three fobs. But first, our objective is two fobs. We're going to be splitting up our forces between the north and the south evenly. Our first FOB location is marked on the map, K5, or excuse me, K654. Our second one that we are going to try and achieve is the I755 location. And then the third FOB will be the G858 location, or thereabouts. So, so going to be working uh, on the south what side of the map. squad is going to be doing, I'm sure your squad leaders have already briefed you, but a brief overview. The squads on the south are going to be tactically patrolling the area and placing down communication outposts so that we can uh, link up with HQ and tell them where the insurgent forces are so they can be wiped out by airstrike. All the squads in the north will be pro providing overwatch and diversion to prevent the enemy uh, forces from concentrating on our patrol. Anyone have any questions on what's going to be going on today? I've had another comment, Storm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, Platoon, be advised that there is also a possible enemy outpost in the helmet markers on the map in the I column. Uh, be aware that that means there will be contact off of live very shortly, so be aware as soon as we leave this base. All right. And uh, last point to make uh, before we uh, set out to wait for Revy to come back. Uh, basically, nope. today... Go ahead. Uh, there's going to be someone named Captain Dylan holding the command squad for Revy. One second, guys. That is completely normal. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right, sorry. So, uh, just got a quick briefing from uh, Platoon Actual. So, uh... Basically, uh, expect enemy contact. Uh, we are to be aggressive, but be tactical. So that means don't be running out in uh, open fields. Uh, be maintaining your 360 degree security, but do not sit there in a doorway, pile up four guys, and eat a grenade. Okay? So be tactical, be safe, be aggressive. All right? Let's go have fun and die. Huh. Yeah. Good. Forward position. Very autonomous um, when it comes to being a squad lead. Um, he's going to keep his squad lead up to date. Uh, or he's going to keep his squad up to date and he's going to keep his platoon lead up to date. And we are live. So uh, I like this choice of putting him so far forward. Let's see what he does with this squad. Right off the bat, he's going to spread them out, moving them east. Fire team north, fire team east. Or fire team north, buddy team east. Hideout squad option activated. What's up, Expert? How's it going? All right, uh, so, out, we'll column. see what happens. A standard uh, platoon staggered column moving south with blue 1, blue 2, blue 3, blue 4 moving west. Red 4 moving northeast, red 3 and red 1 moving east. Looks like they're really going to harden up on this southern position with a flanking squad of red 4. Money man in command of that squad. Let's see what happens. Gonna be a few minutes of maneuvering. Repeat last. Yeah, we're and I like this this lair south, for this op. It's like a, a sun sunset, I guess. Near near sunset up. I'm a big fan of the the night core or like the. I guess it's like dusk core where like the sun is almost below the horizon, and it's not quite night. That's probably my favorite layer. My least favorite layer of core is that one that's like noon. And everything's just like blindingly white. And yeah, it's just, it can get crazy. So, Albert Blythe. A nice little spot here, looking down the road. I like that. Acid and his buddy. 
again, just watching roads. They're not going to have to push out really. They're not going to push out really aggressively. Um, their idea is to just spot them and then allow the rest of his platoon to maneuver in and get on the flanks. Let's go check out Blue as they move. Hey, this is one to all squad leads. There is enemy contact at Mosque. Out of the men, Mosk already. Nice spot. Most likely somebody in that tower, yeah. Got an easy spot. He's probably Alpha Guido. If Assault spotted him, Alpha Guido most likely spotted Assault. See, this will tell us if they actually assault, did spot. Would you like it. To try to take one is continuing to uh, red. One is continuing to move east. Three looks like it's going to be in reserve. Red four is in their position. Okay, good. Blue command. Blue command is uh, uh, Revy, who is <laughs> getting back into the server. Uh, red command is Londart. Yeah, bearing two four six on the mosque. You know, an AR here would be really good to cover these guys just in case. Alright, move. Moving. I'm gonna push position my squad to get in a base of fire. I'm bounding by fire teams all the way up to mosque, and then if you want to, we'll just organize an assault because we're gonna have to deal with the enemy contact at mosque. So blue one and blue two are out outnumbered here. Uh, three squads versus two. These two squads, uh, blue five or excuse me, blue three and blue four are gonna have to work really. Uh, close together to deal with red four and then start to push south is he alive mr yeah mr uzi uh round just started we're about a minute into live two minutes into live he just uh dc'd like right before uh he's coming back and assault's gonna uh a fine uh squad two, squad one. We're gonna try to get, uh in, in uh, uh on now bank. fire out the mosque. copy for that be advised, break. Uh, squad two is taking fire from the direct south. Uh, two zero zero, south southwest. Roughly, I would say six one three. Come in and let me know. I'm on standby. Unfortunately, they got we gotta have the commander. So we're gonna try and get him back in as soon as possible. If not, uh, they'll most likely grab you for that second round. Almost definitely got to be for that second round, depending on how many people are in pre-op. We've done really well at, at filling our ops. We've actually had quite a few people in pre-op. Couldn't get home in time? Oh no, Kyle. Oh, you gotta hang out with me on stream, so not all is lost. sweeping action and hit the mosque from the north and draw some of their attention. Compound is clear. Compound did... One did two. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try to get set up here on these hills, facing the mosque. Did you take? I'm not actually shot. sure. I've heard shots, and I've flown around yeah, to a couple down. areas. I'm not sure yeah, who's actually down. doing the shooting. Okay, in, uh, found it. K six one roughly. Zeke, Vladimir, and his friends firing onto the mosque tower. Really nice spot from Vladimir here. I like it. Get him a set of binoculars to guide him in. I wouldn't Alright, my guys are seeing anything south. Yeah, actually, yeah, go for it. Proper. Throw a burst at you. Throw a burst at you. Alright, get down. So, do you want us to, uh... Alright, let's go check out this northern push. This is yeah, gonna be pretty big. Be so, four... They're in an awkward spot. I'm not yeah, sure what four's gonna do. Most likely move southwest. They're close. I thought these guys were gonna work with, uh... I thought blue four was gonna work with blue three here. But, uh, doesn't seem so. Blue three is gonna be on its own on the Two, flank. drop that radio when you're ready. We'll put our two platoons on yeah, line. Copy. I like this up. Really cool. Like here. the dynamic of utilizing fire and maneuver and patrolling. Yeah, I'm real. I'm a big fan of our patrol ops. Attack defense is a lot of fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, attack defense is a lot of fun, but um, where patrol ops thing, the engagement can happen anywhere, and the engagement is often moving. Whereas the attack defense op, you know. Fixed location, you know you have to go to the specific spot. Yeah, the attack or the patrol up, you know you have to go to specific spots, but the engagement is always not is not always at said position. It's it's sometimes before. Like these guys aren't even close to their first position, and uh, they're already in engagements. We're moving to provide covering fire and uh, a flank onto the mosque. Over. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm currently doing. Yeah. Storm is moving. Okay, we're gonna get that Storm is moving thing. south to get a get a flank on Moss. He has no idea Red Four is here. Money Man Squad. Copy. See what happens. I'm gonna follow the Northern Patrol for a little bit until uh, Blue One decides to bound up. Stop drinking water down the wrong hole. All right. Four doesn't know. Yeah. Four doesn't know. Four doesn't know. Three. Uh, Red Four doesn't know. Blue Three is here. But blue three is the one who's gonna get caught out, I believe, because look at uh, red four is not moving. They are actively scanning. These guys are moving to engage other targets, so they're not they're not even worried about their west, which uh, could be their downfall. Let Charlie stack up on me. Let's get in here. Dylan, stay with these guys that are Copy. here. They're providing long range support. Alright, stay with stay Move with the guys the in the police station. Ooh, okay, so they're gonna get in this. They're gonna set up in this police Command, station and finally lay down some fire down that direction. From the south of us. Uh, K774. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I agree, Yuzi. Um, Tanker Red, Captain Dylan, Kurt Cobain, Petus, Toxic Rebel. They're they're setting themselves up for a for an ambush or to be ambushed if they don't maintain their security. Watching the, yep, uh, west side. Oh, somebody's our, uh, okay. Toxic Rebel saying somebody watch their west. They need to maintain that, that, that western later. security. I can watch you guys interview me too. I'm trying to stay alive for uh, Commander. One to two. I'm Copy. online. I'm I got coming. a base of fire. Where are we supposed to push up to that next compound at Juliet? In security. I like the I like this this suppression, or I like this position that Stormer's putting his guys in. As long as they maintain two, security, it's going to be really nice. But that's the key. They they cannot slack on their security, or it's going to open it up for Red Four to uh, push in. Let's go check out uh, one and two. Then we'll go check out Blue Three. Everybody seems content to get themselves set up as a base of fire. Who's going to move? Where's the movement going to happen? Roger. Yeah, perfect. No kills. Well, one kill for the insurgents. Who went down? Copyright. I don't think he went down. I think it was him switching kits. Uh, be aware, my uh, suppression element nope. is getting Kurt. fired off from Kurt did go down. As soon as I left, he went down. Uh, Who got the kill? Big Rago got the kill over there. What's your uh, troop movement? Are you coming back southeast? As soon as I left, yeah, gonna, this, gonna, these guys got uh, engaged. Position on the mosque here that I think is being pretty effective. Uh, Maybe they pulled the trigger too yeah, early on this suppression ball. fire? They just didn't have their security set up. Blue Four is caught out, I believe. Most of my squad's down. Oh wow! I'm gonna start suppressing unless you can suppress from your location. Yeah, yeah, copy. We're moving. They just got yeah. Storm just got wrecked trying to cross the river here from the west. Chicken Nuggets and friends mowed him down. Chicken Nuggets got two. Spills Daddy got two. As they tried to cross the river, very risky, tr uh, very risky cross. I don't think it was the wrong call, but they definitely didn't have um, eyes where they needed to to spot this. They got caught. Look at this. Let's go check out these guys on the on the bridge. These guys here, they they caught them. Good job for the insurgents. Working this contact at mosque. It does look like some of them are pulling out, going southwest. Break. Squad four, I need you to get up online and get link up with uh, command and the rest of three to the west. Copy. Yeah, we're pushing west over. Solid. A literal hold the line. Yeah, they, exactly. The insurgents look like they're they're not, they're trying to just hold this hard. Uh, not. Five let up any of this well it looks like they fell back just a little bit but not far i think force i think four could be in a better position let's go check out force four spots let's see if toxic rebel can um get this uh cover these guys on the on the west do not push up to me 
Two, I need you to cover. I'm going to send a fire team to that compound at Juliet 623. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of force positioning. It's like they, 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 they got set up to cover one and two, but they really can't. I guess, can they see Musk? Without asking me. Since I am the fire team leader, it just causes confusion. I couldn't find you for a second. Alright, let's keep going. Hotel 6. 86. Break, break, break. We got a full squad. Oh, fact, keep the Chargers fire team. They're shifting northwest at near Storm. Storm, they're going to be near you. Uh, look like they are in I-615. Not a bad spot. Okay, they're, they're getting into better positions. I just wasn't a fan of them being this far back. As far back as they were, I don't think it worked out for them. Red 3 being very aggressive, pushing in on the east. Red 4 moving north, pushing east, looking to flank Red 5. And, uh, uh not Red, uh, Red 5. Blue 5 and Blue 3. So we're taking heavy fire from Moss. Solid copy. Yeah, we'll try to bail you out, Storm. Yeah, don't waste too many men on me. Just get close to me, provide support, and I'll try and pull myself out. I'm heavily wounded. One to two. I'm trying. I'm gonna get my squad back online near that compound to your north, and then we'll uh, we'll attack the mosque. Yeah, copy. My guys got out in the open. The contact at mosque is just not something we can bypass. Yeah, no, agreed. That. We're moving a, a bunch of fully intact squad into position just north of Mosque now. Copy, four, just careful. Don't, try not yeah, to cross just, that river. Only shoot at people. Only shoot at contact. Yeah, copy. We will not cross that river. We're going to try to push up to the banks, cut them off, and they're going to try to escape north. So, Blue 2 got caught out in the open? BD, I'm going to try and make my move to you. Yeah, Blue 2 got caught out in copy. the open. Sorry about your squad. I'm very surprised Really awkward positioning from, um... Go to war squad. Not sure where they're gonna be able to move it from this. Cause they got caught out in a file in, rather than a, a, a line, so the uh, insurgents only have to fire down this okay, this uh, narrow uh, alley between the this hill to the uh, south and this low wall to their north. So the to pin down the entire squad. We'll see if he's gonna be able to recover. Um. Hey Hawk, can you move up anymore? Wait, wait. I like along move, this wall, so move anymore. I, I, yeah, I can move, I can move southwest, but I cannot cross this wall. Okay. Yeah, uh, like go to like J782, position along the wall there. Roger, I'm moving. Yeah, that's the bait. You cannot stand up. We're yeah, moving, like we're moving southwest, we're moving along this wall. Follow me, slowly. Once we take fire, just go down, it'll be great. Yep. The conga line failed. Yep. Where do they move from here? I guess they can move a, a further up. Watch out. Who's the one who has eyes on them? It's this this group of uh, insurgents right here. Let's check out their sidelines. Oh yeah. Look at this Gandalf and uh, Psychonaut. Have really good sidelines onto the area the Total War is going to try and come through. They see anything yet? Not quite. We have better zoom than them for sure. We can't see them, they can't. They're looking. They don't know how far up they, they really are. I'm okay. No rush, gentlemen, but us at Ravi's. Ravi is back. We got command. Let's see if he can take charge of the situation. Update on kills zero for the British forces, five for the insurgents, most of those guys being Storm Squad. join my squad. Storm manages to fall back and Got it. Yep. Storm uh, manages to fall back. This is squad four. Revy is here. Yep. Oh man, don't leave that spot Gandalf. You had a really nice We're spot. At least keep somebody on that low wall. That's a You're really like I this is a really good location. He heard me. For, uh, he's I didn't actually see anything in game. He just did it uh, himself. Advised, I like to think he heard me. Taking fire from Mosque. I seven nine eight. Do they? Are they sure of our route? Yet? Can we continue the feet uh, to the north? I believe they are unsure. They've been moving around. Copy. So we, had, we uh, have contact on. Let's deny the information. 
go ahead too. Yeah, uh, we have contact on I-797 in Mosque, and we also have contact in I-755. Okay. On the, on the, uh, on the of the buildings. Let's just fight it out. Good uh, call They're going to get curious and peek. Let's uh, get a few more... Good, more good call-outs from uh, Blue 2 here. This line is actually not bad. If they were to get online, or, or if they were to get enough guys firing, I believe they'd be able to maintain fire superiority. This is going to be the pivot. Two or three guys. We're good, and we can keep pushing west. I think what I can do is screen squad two, cover the contact at Mon. Let's go check out Blue Three in the north. Contact at India Seven Five Two and clear to get the radio down. Yeah, if you can sneak around, that's great. Uh, another option is also breach. Be aware, it. I have Mon connected within seventy-five meters southwest of my position. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he does. Look at that. Adam, UJ Key, and friends. Red 4, yeah, usually Red 4 is flanking. It's a single fire team, looks like. RPG. Meant to uh, take out Tanker Red, I'd say. Landed right inside this uh, tower. We were taking fire before. They know we're here. I'm gonna get a fire superiority for you momentarily. Yeah, copy. We won't be able to move unless you fire support. Facing guys, facing. You don't want to get taken out by that same, same frag round. Man, be advised. I'm in uh, close proximity contact, approximately 50 to 75 meters. <laughs> Talks of rebel almost goes down. Tanker red. Oh, storm gets domed by UJ Key. I want to say it was either UJ Key or Adam. Yeah, suppression for moving out. Yeah, no, there was no suppression here. They just tried to move. Oh, Captain Dillon tries to peek here. I'm just curious why why did they pull out of here to here? What was their plan for moving here? Were they gonna continue west? Were they gonna fall back? I'm not sure. I think hold, hold it up in police station would have been the better call. Let's check out Red 4 as they're gonna complete their flank here momentarily. Not momentarily. Looks like they're going for a nice little 10-year flank. Gonna get behind enemy lines if I've ever seen it. See what happens. And I'll keep the contact at Moss down. Yeah, I was gonna follow them in, but it doesn't look like they're gonna be there for a minute. Red 1, Red 2 holding their line re relatively well. The blue 1 and blue 2 making right good progress, honestly. Like, with the amount of fire they've been taking, they've been moving through these fields very nicely. Assault keeping up that aggression. Total War has been stalled out for a little bit, but uh, Assault has been moving. Can medics revive in one life events? No, they cannot, uh, Charlene. Once you go down with that little electric symbol over your head, you are dead. Um, but if you can bandage, the medic can, like, heal you back yeah, to full. Back to okay, four is, four is but, uh, yeah, once you're down, you're down. Uh, we're taking accurate fire on our position. We're compromised. Hey, two, you look oversaturated there. Do you want to pull around, uh, Yeah, north that's what one? I was thinking, but, uh, they got us completely pinned down. Anywhere we move right now, we have... Red Commander still alive. Red Commander... Uh, right, two. Just, just smoke it off. Have everyone throw smokes and pull back. Londards are still alive. I bet Londards is probably so far back he hasn't rendered in. That's... It's Londards MO. He commands... He takes commanding from... Look. <laughs> there you go. Takes commanding from the rear to the extreme. He's good at staying alive. Great at staying alive, because this is exactly what he should be doing. Um... But he does. He definitely takes commanding from the rear to the to that extreme. He's commanding from his map and uh, and his binoculars. How can you guys do this? Is everyone welcome? Everyone is welcome. If you guys are interested in participating in these events, check us out squadups.gg. Again, squadups.gg. All you have to do is sign up on the website, link your Discord, and take our uh, squadups tactics and training basic course. 
only about 45 minutes to an hour long, and then you can participate in any and all of our Squad Ops One Life events. We host them once on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays. Uh, those are the ones we stream, the one on Wednesday, twice on Saturdays. We also host Friday Postscriptum events, as well as Sunday. Um, they swap between SOTT and Postscriptum events, I believe. But uh, we do one life events a lot. And then our Thursdays are for our, our basic trainings and our advanced courses and things like that from our SOTT. And H686. Should be community from there. How you stay alive, right? But when when I sit, look at this. He is six, seven, nine hundred, almost a kilometer away from his platoon. <laughs> wow, nice RPG. They're just I'm, nailing this uh, this building. Relatively accurate, but they're on this other side of the wall. Uh, let's go to the building a little bit farther north. That way, they don't know exactly where we are. We're gonna so try to join you. Uh, position, assault. We can push them. Copy. Nice push right, from so Assault here, taking control of Mosque. This is going to give yeah, them some breathing room. Yeah, let's see if we can get a radio at I-6-3. Right, Say again, sorry. Uh, squad comms are insane. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pushing Remy, did you say something? Oh, I'm on you, buddy. Copy. Copy. You might want to do stairs. I'd say to get the mines around. Building. One to command Mosque is there, we got it. There's an upstairs, we gotta hit the upstairs. Clear. Gotta check it for IDs. Yeah, looking good. Okay, we got I'm reloading. Two to the north. Four sit rep. We're not pushing no. south of the river now in a safe position on the eastern side. We got, we need to get out here. here. We're getting into position to bounce over. Charlie. Charlie southeast. Yeah, four secure the north yeah. mosque. Poutine, you on the west here, just don't peek that much. Oh! ID goes off, doesn't take anybody out. That could have been actually a very nice ID when a soul squad was in the area. Coffee. But a soul had, had the uh, presence of mind to just continue the push. Where was that ID? Blue able to spot red four. Blue four able to spot red four. I don't. Wow, look at that progress that red four has made. They've been moving. ID went off at approximately Juliet 778, roughly. They're, <laughs> they've got eyes that, they were on the north side, the, the literal furthest north you can get, like edge of the map north, I guess this is as, as north as you can get, but I'm like edge of the map north, hugging the border, and now they're going to hit the south side of the map, come up behind the uh, blue two and uh, command. Copy, we're being pushed by infantry, we're holding them off now. I think that we're still in police station. We're gonna go check out Blue 3 in just a moment. I wanna see this. This, uh, hard fought flank come to fruition. I don't know where they're going. Why are you going north? Oh! They're going after the fob. <laughs> they're going after the first point. Okay, okay. And nobody stayed to defense. So they're gonna have to fall back and take that point. They're they're gonna force British forces to uh, turn around and fall back. So four kills for the British, eight kills for the insurgents. Not all is lost. Still a very close game, but this is definitely gonna throw a wrench yeah, in the British's plans. I uh, fired to the north of me. I'm gonna push them. I'm gonna keep pushing them up. I'm moving fired by fire team. We're still taking shots. We're in tandem with the two, one. Yeah, copy. Okay, we knocked out the two uh, infantry pushing towards police station. They were pushing south for you guys. Copy three. I need you to be a thorn in their side up to the north there, please. Four, I need you to secure the north bus. Copy. Uh, four, I lost half my squad to a dodgy IED. Option. We can stay here now they know we're here that we fired, or we can keep heading north and then try to flank around before they flank us. Uh, yeah, let's Infantry's check it out here. Red smoke, Actually, that is a good idea. Seven, seven, nine. Okay, uh, tanker, go back. get back. Yeah, fall back over to us. Need that suppression southwest. Yep. These three guys as a fire team are working really well together. Lost that eastern. Let's give them a minute to fall back, and then we'll push it. Suppression's up. I don't think they've realized. 
No, they haven't realized I dug down yet. You will. Assault gonna maintain suppression, allowing two to move. Really good. I'm so pleased with the way Revy's platoon does their movements. Like he is one of the one of the commanders where I notice that he is definitely working in tandem. One squad fire, the other squad maneuver. One fire team fire. One like what you should be doing as a platoon: firing and maneuvering, bounding by fire teams. Not just have a full squad just run to run. Like they have some cover. They're able to uh, move efficiently. Revy has done a great job managing that. Hawk takes a grenade. He's okay. He's gonna be able to bandage. Hey, firm. Gonna bandage. He'll be all right. They got our back radio, guys. We have contacts. Uh, for... Three, I need you to start right. falling back to our We're original radio. At India 779, too. So that's probably, it's not my guys. Four, you need Four. to be dude. Four, it's kind of a good call. I have no idea. Three, pull to our original uh, radio position. What's east? We're moving to Kilo 6, 4, 6, 2 hold what you got, 1 hold what you got, 4 and 3 converge on Kilo 6, 4, 6. Revy, set up again, sorry. I need 4 and 3 converging on Kilo 6, 4, 6, 1 and 2, hold the line, uh, hold what you got. Do you, you not can want actually to get into I-752, do it. Yeah, if, okay, if you're copy. close enough and you can do it, do it. Alright, so four and three being told to fall back, deal with this fire team in the rear. Uh, Revy has two guys on him, Steiner and Phoenix. Uh, two is going to try and push, take charge of this compound where uh, red one is. Red, uh, blue one is going to continue to hold Mosque. Good orders so far. I'm going to watch the assault here. Oh, Hawk takes an RPG from not an NSA spy. Man, now that's uh, something. Blue commander is in danger. I'm going to go check out uh, Revy in just a minute because... Phoenix is a good shot. I'm not sure on Stein. I don't recognize the name. But Phoenix being there definitely uh, signals trouble for... They don't know. Look. They're looking past each other. Hey, do we have eyes on our, uh, our east? Uh, Force one to pick up. No idea. Copy. Okay, force nearly in position. ID goes off, takes out Sebi V. That was a breacher charge that, that went off, took out a Sebi V. They need to push now. Not as the spy had gone down to use some rifle fire, I assume. They were, they were not close enough to take advantage of that uh, breacher charge. Great breacher charge, great idea to take it out. But as soon as that goes off, you gotta move. Move, move, move. Get in there, overwhelm them before they can uh, realize what's going on. Pipe Punk jumping over the wall. He's in. Don't go by yourself. They're going, they're going. This is a breach. Great use of the breach of charge. I'm watching. They're in the compound, just the command. We're falling back. Copy. Hopefully, this wasn't in vain. What? With them behind enemy lines, now. It's up to these guys to oh, to make use down. of the 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 distraction that the uh, the fob being down break, break, break. We got break contact. is causing. Break, Boogie break, goes break, down to uh, Kablamo. Squad one, uh, Oddball uh, getting shot at by a bunch of uh, four, four push into the or where shooting at a bunch of uh, somebody get a grenade through there. Right. Somebody get a grenade through there. I got that. Backblast clear. Backblast check, for backblast, backblast check for backblast. Check for backblast. Oh, Kablam oh, goes down to iMoney's. Chuck it over the wall. Where are we headed? Where if we have to kill this compound right here. Get inside, get inside. Too far. Yep. Hey, there's, yeah, the, um, watch, watch north. iMoney's had a really good, uh, crossfire there. Frag out onto Pipe. Trying to get, trying to get a good angle to, to spot this from. I don't like seeing through the wall.
Hey, 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 four, we're gonna bypass these guys. Get in this field and let's keep moving east. We can get our radio set up so two can set up there. Yeah, back blast right. clear, back blast, back blast, dead. Oh, yep, like he went down I monies. I monies takes out another trooper chomp of troops. Yeah, keep pushing that original combat. Pipe funk, all this left of this original fire team. Pipe funk may take out eyeball. No, misses eyeball. I don't get shot, got shot from Three, flicker, I wanna say. Flicker does bleed out. No, he's okay. Got a medic there too. Alright, we're gonna move to Kilo 646. Looks like Phoenix. No, Phoenix is still alive. Kind of. Hey, man, four. Right. All right. Hey, get on the off sides. Get on opposite side of the door. Pickers, you're gonna go first. You're gonna go right. Rob, you're gonna go straight to the left. Right. All right. Let's gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and fall back. Looks like I Money's eyeball gonna fall back. C control to um, blue two. And round one. We're nearing the mid game of round one. Update on kills: ten for the British forces, seventeen for the insurgents. The insurgents are up. And that's exactly the the call to fall back. I think is the correct one because that's all the insurgents need to do is just hit them, fall back, hit them, fall back. Because the insur the U uh, British forces are still on their first point, one of three locations they need to patrol. So any whittling they can do is definitely gonna put the uh, give the insurgents the upper hand later on in the round. Ethel trying to get his spot on the. Uh, We're watching it. Copy three. It looks like we're shooting at you from my northeast. Okay. We're taking no contacts. If we can get these two radios down simultaneously, we can break contact and get southwest. Yeah, that'd be great. One seven one six two to one seven one range. They spotted this. Yeah, <laughs> Ethel was in a, a little an awkward spot for his uh, bipod. Body jumped all over the place. We gotta, we gotta move. We gotta ignore those contacts. We gotta get J622. Down. Yeah, I got you, boss. I'm yelling at my guys to move in, and they're just fucking not bounding. Two getting whittled down, looks like. Blue, four, blue one has had a really good hold here. Looks like red one and red two just gonna just fall back. If they're gonna see the location. They don't want to take any more casualties. Ten to eighteen. Move back to another fallback line. That's that's definitely the the right call. If you were this fire team. If you were money man, what's the call here? You try and hold this location to the last man because you're gonna get overwhelmed. You have to know your squad's behind. Your your the rest of your platoons on the west. They have to come back here. You stay and hold, or do you pull off into a direction, hide, let them place it down, and then come back and dig it up again? What I would do. That's super sneaky though. Would you like us to shoot at the original compound or J6? Yes, please. The original compound. We should suppress the original compound. I spy a G with only icons. Copy. G with only icons. Four copies. We're bounding guys here each time now. Mm, oh, GL. With only irons. Irons, not icons. Yeah, that was a, uh, a pony thing. Oh, that's right, because the British one, uh, the British forces only had, uh, had the GL with, a, with a, an ACOG. Amazing. Big fella, you're spectating. I am spectating. I'm, yeah, I am spectating. Nearing the, uh, I'd say, I'd still say we're firmly in the mid game, nearing end game for uh, round one, one to command. There of is, our uh, squad ops one life event, Tarantula Hawk. Those of you just joining us, right it's a patrol now. mission for the British forces. They're patrolling the Cora Valley. Um, they've got to patrol three locations. They got to they got to choose a northern route or a southern route. They chose a southern route, and if the insurgents destroy their fob at any of their points, they have to go back and secure the point again. So they have to secure three locations along their patrol route, and uh, the insurgents have done that. They have the the U.S. Excuse me, the British forces placed down their fob, left it undefended, and allowed the British forces to push in and secure it. That's what I was. Uh, I, I was unsure why he didn't leave anybody to defend it. They knew that they they would have to come back. Even Revy knew he had to come back. 
Revy wasn't there, there, there at the start. Right. That's it. Revy, I think Revy would have had the presence of mind to leave at least a fire team here for defense. Um, but unfortunately, the, his uh, two IC assault just uh, he wanted to keep that pressure on and continue moving west, and uh, they they ended up paying for it. We're low on ammo. We're down to two mags on a heavy MG. One to two. I'm getting out of this moss. We're pushing to you. My last one. There's fire superiority right here. Copy. It's a really good We're fire superiority with just three guys. They have some really good fire. Sounds like you need to slow your right to fire down, buddy. Would be much more late because I don't have much left. Okay, hold fire, hold fire. Uh, tanker, hold fire tanker. One to right. I'm giving up moss. Slow the rate two of fire down. Mags, one yellow, one orange, so two full mags, fifty percent and a 75er. Yeah, Tanker was maybe going a little bit crazy with his, um, with his, um, belts, I guess. But then again, those medium machine guns only have, like, five, five or six, right? Watch this. Well, we're gonna watch this assault, and then we're gonna go check out one and two on that, uh, northwest, or southwest. Ooh, Wayne Noon's gonna run up on both of these guys. Take him out, Noon. Takes out money, man. Does he see volatile? He does not see. He did he not see volatile on the north side. North side of the compound. Him, yes, the he sees volatile. He sees him. Volatile goes down. There's two down. Drop. Easy. Yeah, right Epic failure. What's going on here? This is a patrol mission. British forces are patrolling the core valley. They are moving to their start location, or or they're moving to their first point, which they had uh, lost to the insurgents. They're going to uh, put down their their radio, signifying that they have patrolled the area. And then they're going to try and move on and continue their patrol route. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the map for those of you just joining us. So you can see sort of the general route that the British forces will be taking. They get to choose between green and blue. They chose blue. They're at that very first point. Then they're going to move to one of those two midpoints before moving to their final point on the far west. Would you like us to move in with your small position? Drop the map. Three Copy. Insurgents have done a good job at being insurgents, doing hidden run tactics, and, and, and just being a, a thorn in the sides of the British forces as they try and maneuver. Good on them. Like The, the, the thing I, I see a lot of commands doing, uh, the objective is to patrol uh, a, a given route. Uh, uh, patrol a given route, and uh, then defend, if they can make it to their third and final point, defend it until the end of the round, being last man standing. But uh, what I see a lot of commanders do is try and have head-on firefights with conventional forces as the insurgents. It just does not work out. The British forces have better guns, have better optics. The insurgents just can't hack it when it comes to just a standard firefight, standard brawl. Whereas here, they've done a lot of maneuvering. They've, uh, they've, yeah, they've done a lot of maneuvering, a lot of hit-and-run tactics, and it has really paid off for them. 12 kills to 18. We're just bringing it back slightly. Full auto question mark? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's what uh, that's what he was doing. Man, thinking, that's I'm why he went, that went so long. What's Red 3 and 5 doing? Red 3 and 5 look like they're going for a flank on Blue 3. Look at that. Blue 3 is going to get flanked. They're, they're actually looking like they, they want to take that first point. Bonnet is really trying to fight or, or fight over this first point. He's not going to allow the British any breathing room. He's not going to allow them to maneuver off of that point. These guys are going to get flanked. No, no rear security here. With three guys, it is tough, given. All right, lead the way. You're going to move? Or be advised, there might be contacts uh, coming out of Juliet 622. Juliet 622. Right Just got fucking ripped up close. Lon is actually near the front right. He's only a hundred meters from his guys rather than nine hundred meters. That's as close as Londart's gonna get. So Steiner, Saloon, and Phoenix just gonna fall back. Command for Go ahead. Break, break, break. 
Creek. I, I got I got contact direct. Sorry, direct north, moving west along the river uh, on the bridge I six one four. Roger. It sounds like they uh, know our intent. Here. It was a it was a squad lead. So he's it's a full squad size element. Oh, going to continue his push on to that secondary, uh, second are patrol location. Hallway, he's going to try and move faster than the, the insurgents move. Just because west. if they make it to their uh, third point, the, it doesn't matter if the insurgents get the first I point because the, four, the two, British forces six, six, will be on the defense. But if they, if the British forces cannot get that second radio down, they're going to continue, uh, they're going to continue having to fight over that first point. Which is really what Launders is going to do. He's going to just keep up that, keep up the pressure that he's doing. And, and look Copy. at it. Look at this pressure. Command four. Uh, well, two squads on the north. North, maybe 75 meters. Be sharp. Copy. All squads be advised. We do have. Uh, SL equals full squad. What do you mean SL equals full squad? North command. Where to float over? Where to float so over? So far, the southern routes are pretty clear. So still within five, still within about a fire team. There's only a fire team up, and if they try and face them head on, I think they. Oh, he said he saw an SL, so he presumed a full squad. Yeah, I mean, Command, not wrong. Just hit mosque or at mosque. Thinks a, a, a SL equals full squad. That may be a little bit of an overestimation. Five, seven. A little bit, I think. He he said I six one four. So who did he see? Was it two? Was it acid squad? Who is? Learn Acid Squad. Is Acid Squad all but dead? Acid has like, yeah, Acid has four guys in the squad left. We're taking contact from the north. Talk to Rebel and me just take a shot. Three, RPG goes in, takes out, uh, Blackbeard takes out, uh, I'm not, I'm, I just assumed it was Blackbeard because he was in the front, but, uh, takes out this guy. Pick it up, let's get out of here. Report the contact. Yeah, um, Mr. Easy, I, I definitely like the SKS a lot. Um, with, uh, such a good gun now. The Iron Titus. It's like it's got like an optic nut. Better iron. Oh, it's in a small squad and I have two lay back skin for insurgents, so I wouldn't send in a whole platoon to get wiped. Look at one. Look how look at their movement. They're out there. Uh, well behind enemy in. lines. Two coming into support. Four and three, two, three coming up behind. Uh, red four, red three coming up behind. Blue four, blue three. three. We lost the radio. And blue two. See what happens. The radio is about to go down again. I'm gonna try to pass it and come in from the southwest. I don't want to enter in the direction. Did they get their second radio down? They did get their second radio. I think they're okay. I think. Command, it looks like taking fire. And the the rules here are a little bit different. I'm not sure if they have to they have to hold both of those radios. Or once they get the second radio, the first one's down, and then they have to the the insurgents can get this radio. Expert, if you are still here, you can clarify this for me. But if they get the second radio down, then they have to hold the second radio and push to the third with the second one being vulnerable. Or do they have to hold both radios before getting to the third and ultimately defending to the end? What would you like us to say? Or move? That first radio is down again. Three keep moving to hotel. To the radio. Copy. Did you drop anybody? Ooh, we need no frame to get a shot at. Copy. I own a non Rinko SKS. I love it. Awesome, though.
Put some. Uh, like how the NCO knows what he's doing. Yeah. Um, fire team leads. I like it when you get a good fire team lead. And then speaking of fire team lead, let's take a look at who's still up command wise. Um, so British forces still have their commander. This is a fire team lead. Wayne Noon, very competent uh, fire team. Talks Rebel has been doing a pretty good job as a fire team lead. Metis, keeping. They're working really well together. Uh, Metis. Uh, is working really well with Toxic. Total Warriors Q is an original squad lead. Assault, original squad lead. Londarts, original command. Phoenix is a fire team lead. Uh, very competent fire team lead. Godzilla Pro is original. Acid is a fire team lead, but is a very competent fire team lead. And this squad is all but wiped, it looks like. And I don't think they have any of the command comms. They need both down to cross the line off Doc says. Okay. Cool. So they, they're going to need to fall back into out, I believe, unless they misinterpret the rules too. See what happens if an admins may do something about this. I believe so. Putting rounds down. Look at sneaking Gandalf. They don't know. No, they're gonna spot Revy. Don't take out Revy. They spotted him. They know he's there. Contact. Oh, Rob. Not the best spot to go prone. Break, break, break. We got, uh, we got contact ready north. 100 meters. Frag out onto Rob. Uh, frag out from Revy onto Gandalf. Frag out takes Rob. Gandalf goes down to a grenade too. Good, good exchange of grenades. Sneak's the only one left of these two, uh, this buddy team. Sucks is that in Afghanistan our radio man was more exposed than our. Okay, guys, we have wow. Northwest, less than 100 meters. It's interesting. Three got eyes on them. Contact instantly drops and fires right. Like, it's it's just a I, it's like a video game like twitch. Like as soon as you get shot at, you go prone no matter what. Even though it's like you shouldn't go prone. You either you you either move to cover and then go prone. Squad five and three, uh, or squad fire three, because your aim gets thrown off, so you're not gonna be able to fire effectively uh, while going two prone. Two or cover. you can get into cover and hide better. Like he, this is not the spot to go prone. Like right here. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? You're in, you're in a riverbed. <laughs> That's not gonna work out for you. Here would have been the better spot to go prone. It ended up not working out for him just because of that grenade. I am I, I do like that the Man, squad did the thing where they, they took out the dolphin dive and dolphin dive used to be a, a very crazy thing. Uh we don't need to hold that radio. Um in on us. Understood. Uh, just be advised by the contacts. The radio was pinned about four three to four times? Wow. Wow, that's crazy. I think I got three. most of them down. Three, did you get a confirmed kill? I got two confirmed kills, I'm sure about however Copy, many I else to, there was. I need you to push past me. I need you to push past me. I can't go down here. Copy. Okay, we're pushing, we're pushing. Sorry, that happened. They're being chased. Yeah, two bosses. One good automatic rifleman here though can hold this angle. One good two good riflemen, one good automatic rifleman. Not even gonna try and hold the trees up. Once it wraps. Still clear, no enemy contact. I'm almost into the point. I'm gonna drop this radio. We're starting to clear now. Good work. I still have contacts to my yeah, north, my east. Two, basically. Uh, there's two. Copy. Huh? Alright, four contact. six, what do you got? Two, four, six. Yeah, I don't think they noticed that last point went down. Right, four, six, range. Uh, about two hundred meters. Two hundred meters, copy. Hold fire for now. All my traces. He's in the trees on the other side of the wall now, to the left. He's pressing. Two 
your copies. All right. 50 meters, try like five. Frag out, gonna land on Revy's head. He's going down. <laughs> Great frag from Coolius guy. They they got to the last point. He called that shit. Got to the last point. We'll see if they hold. Assault. Do you want us to bring squad three? No. Here's what I want. I want three and squad four to link up. I want the remainder of two to come to me. Looks like three's getting lit. Yeah, come to me too. Yeah, Wayne, if you could push north and then take the left route and try to link up on this uh, way to the base, B1. North and west, we have to Oh, Dr. Rebel finally goes down. That, that was three, I believe. Yeah, as they get swarmed by uh, Acid and his guys. One Suddenly, one. these guys are behind enemy lines and completely yeah. circled. They got sneak. Wei Noon is uh, between a rock and a hard place. He's between Acid's uh, fire team or buddy team and Blue Four and or, excuse me, Red Three and Red Four to their north and east. Like there, <laughs> oh Hamdog goes down. Oh, they're in such an awkward spot. Copy. There's cannot support you in any way, but oh again. Oh, just such an awkward spot for him. You can cover me, I'm moving around the front wall. We'll go in and kill the enemy before they killed us. Yeah, that was a beautiful name, Mr. Uzi. Alright, Flanky Frank, that's that's how you win. That's not like, if you want to win, the, all you have to do, the, it's it's very simple, just kill them before they kill you. Oh, not a tough concept. We noon goes down, four is all but wiped out. Salt crit's only one remaining at the uh, this point. Blue 2 and Blue 1 do make it to their final point, and uh, they're going to hold, I believe. Shield Corp, she's manages. Alright, I'm going to make a final stand here. No one comes in about Freedom a minute. are very so. important because they call in air support and artillery fire, but make sure... I'm going to push the 1. 200 meters miles away. Yeah. Oh, they're not there, actually. Freedom Man, definitely, definitely an important job. I'm gonna watch Salt Crits until he dies. Oh, God. Okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna use it on top of your head. I mean, the only reason I know that is because of uh, that scene from Generation Kill, where um, I don't think they're gonna come in what do they call him? Oh, Socrates goes down to D League. What a one tap! But uh, I, I forget what they call their platoon commander. I think it's like Encino Man or something who, who tries to call in call in uh, artillery, and he gets the grids wrong. The only reason I know danger close like that. Salt's monologue, right? I always like listening to the the internal or the external monologue of the the last man standing. Who he has to know people are watching him. So many people dead. Seventeen kills for the British. Twenty eight for the insurgents. Insurgents widening that gap from ten to about eleven. Eleven. Like that one video when Karma says, uh, you logic drivers are the real MVPs. Do we want to have an you're talking about, but it's a lot. Yeah, Danger Close is like, I learned British patrol is complete, and Surgeons must retake the point. Okay, so I'm certain the... Here it is. Uh, now they just have to defend. The fire pit new? No, the fire pit's not new. This is this has always been here. One to two. If any of your guys got sandbags, have them drop them. Yeah, a lot of people use danger close as like Copy. infantry danger close, but like I'm fairly certain I've been because I've been corrected by this, but like danger close is specifically for artillery or, or like indirect fire being danger close, right? You would just say something like contact close if it was you know contact close. Logistic companies are the backbones of the army, right? Assault, you hear me in local today. 
So, blue one, blue two, gonna take charge of the radio tower. This is their final point, and Surge now have to assault them. And it's it's gonna be tough for the 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 um the British forces. They've got one, two, nine. They've got a single squad versus upwards of two squads, upwards of three squads. Let's get an actual count of uh, insurgent forces. Eighteen, yeah, exactly two squads. So one squad versus two squads. Blue has a defender's advantage. Let's take a look at how they're positioning themselves and where we think the insurgents are going to push in from. Hmm. I like their spread. Helkul, it looks like a good spot, but I'm not a big fan of this. It's it's just too easy to get shot out. What and angle you had? And your 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 routes, your escape path is taking your angle. Built from there. Roger. But like two per building, I think would be good. Yeah, look at that nice little standbag here. And not blocking a doorway or anything. You got movement. Should be good. I think it'll be a, a pretty close defense, but I uh, from. Just the way the insurgents have been moving and uh, maneuvering, both the same exact thing have been maneuvering. Um, I, I feel like the insurgents are ha have the upper hand. I always ask where the arty is landing when somebody's danger close, right? There's artillery, danger close. What? Who's firing the mortars? Yeah, once you're dead, you're, uh, there's no more talking to the living. And I think the decision here for the for the uh, British forces, do they keep anybody on the outside of the point? Do they keep a buddy team on the outside of the point? I think they should. I like I I don't like the idea of piling everybody into the point and then letting them come to you because you have zero room to maneuver and gives the uh, the attackers. All of the room to uh, completely circle in and take you out. Uh, this, the, the, I guess, the point could be argued that the, they don't need to spread out off the point because they've got two really nice buildings to have a crossfire from and support from. But still, a buddy team like north of Pipe Funk, like move Pipe Funk and one other to like this bridge here and have them have a, a, a nice little crossfire to the south, I think would be very, very nice. But still, I think um, Little Warriors, Q, Flicker, and, and Pipe Pump can be that maneuvering element because they're most likely not going to assault that building or that uh, set of compounds uh, and, and instead focus on, on this uh, the actual radio tower proper. Holy animals. Taking shot, Rex. 6-9, 6-9. Only use danger close to authorize close air artillery with higher possibility of friendly fire. Never Copy. heard it used they're for infantry combat. Yeah. The only place I've ever heard it yeah. is, is, you know, in game. And then I've been corrected because people with actual military experience. They're like, nope, that's not how you use that. Wow, they are just laying down the fire into these buildings. Not going to allow the British to peek anything. G886. I thought it was something you shout on a public toilet while taking a dump after eating spicy food. Keep up the fire. I think that's... The, maintain the, that fire superiority. The insurgents have done a great job at maintaining fire superiority, not allow anybody to peek any of the windows. Like, Helical hasn't been able to spot much, and it's allowed Ass and Spill's daddy to push right up onto the objective. Both those windows are covered. Both those windows, yeah. Don't allow them to peek the windows, insurgents. You just gotta keep them pinned down and uh, let your guys get right up on the objective. Hey, battle Stay right, after you bend him, get battle 
I don't want everyone to be made. One to two, they're on our southeast. Southeast, southeast. It means they have a less margin for error than usual. Normally it's safe, but sometimes close air support, IDF, it's their mark. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I'm, I'm sure, like, during, like, World War II and, and, and whatnot, artillery could be off by a lot just because it was all done by, like, hand and, and whatnot. But nowadays, I feel like a lot of things are done by computer and there's less of a margin for error. Or there's, like, there's less of a chance of, of things not going where you called them no, in. He's on the wall. Zero five five. That's our pistol. Who's shooting a brick window peeker, right? Look at acid. One to two. There's one in between us. Oh, I missed this. This is the window peeker you're talking about. I think I'm engaging right now. Yeah. Possibly. Oh, cool. Like on the wall, like on bandaging, or, or or had to bandage. Oh, well, they they know acid's here now. Oh, it takes him out with the pistol. The pistol? <laughs> Acid takes out Zeke with the, the, the pistol. Acid may bleed out here, though. No, he'll be okay, but... I mean, he's he's all but dead. <laughs> all but dead. We're taking shots from the east. Uh, on your side of the wall. Now we're here. Copy. Stay behind me, stay behind me. Yeah, total, if you could look south. Lima being getting shot. I didn't even see this. There's a full fire team who, who's approaching from the south. Update 25 to 31. It, British bring it back a little bit from 8 down to 6, that gap. But still, it's looking rough for them. They're going to have to just go off. Assault gets tagged. How? How could he see you? Squad, we, see, we see people pushing in from the uh, southeast. They see you. Do you want us to subvert? This is how they can see you. Look at that angle. Go for it, yeah. What? Got me. Okay, that's what I thought. Thank God. Look at this push by Pipe Funk and Total War. They may push up on Acid. They see Acid. They miss all of their shots on Acid. And Pipe Funk's yeah, gonna yeah, take them out with a the pistol. Wall. Nope, Python takes him out. Wow, I was about to say, is, is Ashley gonna get that pistol kill? Cause, cause damn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I might do that. He's across the river. There's at least two south. I'm bandaging. Nightmare, I need you to heal me. Okay, Python, go in front of me. Go in front of me. Good. Seven versus. Five? Am I missing so many? I feel like the insurgents have so many more. Wow, they're bringing it back so, so close. Such a close game. Lima Bean goes down. Oh, I can't even have the name tags up anymore. So many admin cams. We lost Lima. Your nightmares versus three. See, this is what I'm talking about. They had the guys on the flank. Oh, that would have been so brutal. Pipe Punk takes out Chicken Nugget. Godzilla gets the return frag. Total War still on the outside. Yeah, we're getting. Sh I'm getting shot from. I just lost my guy. We're getting shot from the outside. I I'm. I'm in. I'll try to push it. Odor spots him. He sees him. But so does Patrick Star. This. Assault. I got one guy right in front of me. I'll probably die here. Frag out from Patrick Star onto Total War. Is it going to land? Too far. Way too far. Two versus two here as they start to breach the Better compound. Assault watching the door. And he takes good out Londarts. Londarts goes down. That's command down. Who's going to take charge of the, the red team now? Three versus four. And U.S. bringing it, or British forces bringing it back. That's defender's advantage right there. Total War down to a pistol. They see me. Copy. Assault is dead. It is your nightmare and to uh, Total War versus 
Godzilla Pro, Liberal Pundit, Patrick Starr, and Big Rago. Oh, as well as Steiner. Nice. Look at this spot from Steiner. Sneaky. Look at that. That's a nice spot. Yeah, I really like this, this positioning here. When do they play Postscript and One Life events? Lighter, we play Postscript and One Life events on Fridays, generally. Um, but I would check the website, squadups.gg. For those of you interested in participating in these One Life events, check us out, squadups.gg. All you have to do is sign up on the website, take our basic training course, and then you can participate on any and all of our One Life events. Hold them on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays, as well as Postscriptum events on Fridays, and uh, then our trainings are on Saturdays and Sundays. Or not Saturdays, um, Thursdays and Sundays. Just check the website, squadups.gg. Yeah, I uh, rarely stream, but I, I only stream the Wednesdays and Saturday events. But uh, definitely, we should be getting some more commentators soon. I just set somebody up to commentate uh, yesterday, so hopefully he'll start to commentate soon, get his commentator's legs. Your Nightmare takes out Big Rago. Hopefully he gets his commentator's legs and is, you know, confident enough to commentate on his own, and then, you know, we may we may be able to start streaming more and more events. Coming in, friendly, coming in, friendly, coming in, friendly, coming in, friendly, coming in, upstairs, I'm going upstairs right now, assault you there, shit, am I the last one? Total War is the only one remaining, your nightmare goes down, so it's Total War versus 3, Ooh. and this is going to be tough, I believe Total War versus 3, I'm going to zoom out really quick, yeah, Total War versus 3, it is up to Liberal Pundit, Patrick Starr, and Godzilla Pro circle in and take him out no longer going to be able to have the name pick. look at all those admin cams all the dead people Circling him, 3D game. They need to. I, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a 3D situation. They need. I think they need to vault in, as well as trying to salt them from the top. Total War, recognizing that. And uh, he's gonna position himself to catch them if they try and vault in, because this is the vault point right here, up here. They have to hear him. Push in. This is round one. Uh, yes, this is this is round one. And total war goes down. And that wraps it up for that very first round of our squad ops one life event. We've got round two coming up. The British forces moved well, I thought, once Revy got back. Um, the I think it all it all came down to the start, not having to fall back to to retake that first point before moving on really cost them a lot of unnecessary casualties. And the, the insurgents did a great job on just firing, falling back, firing, and falling back, picking them off before they eventually had to get to that last point. It, it a lot of ammo weight uh, spent on both, uh, both sides. There were people down to pistols. It was just a crazy amount of firing going on. Good job for the insurgents to just constantly be maneuvering, keep the British on their toes. We're going to go ahead and swap sides and get set up for the next round. British forces will play insurgents, insurgents will play British One's great farm, one's one's hemp farm. And we are live. Right off the bat, we got the full platoon moving south. Uh one, four, and three moving south, blue two moving southwest. Let's take a look at red team. 
Red team, or red two on the point proper. Red four moving northeast. Red three moving northeast. Red one moving southeast. So another even split here. I think this is this is the the what happened last time is Revy went for an even two two split north and south. Two squads north, two squads south. Whereas Londards did a three one split. Three squads on one flank, two squad or one squad on the other, and that 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 held much better in my opinion than the than the 2-2 because the 2-2 just means one squad is slightly better or one flank is slightly better off whereas the other flank is undermanned versus the three versus two the advisor is nd frag nd frag what kind of nd is that <laughs> anyway all right whatever <laughs> But uh, as I was saying, like two squads versus three, it's outgunned, and that's just a lot more. Like nine more people, I feel is just nine more when it making it twenty one versus eighteen seems. My math isn't right. Twenty seven. Sorry, I don't know why I said twenty one. Um, nine more guys is is much more impactful on a flank where you're overwhelming them three squads to two, whereas two squads to one, I don't feel. You can do as much because those two squads are going to get pinned down by the one squad whereas with the two squads versus three two squads versus two squads with that third squad being able to do it. Well, it was boogie, hope that made sense because it's sort of got rambly toys why can i foresee an encirclement happening maybe maybe if the if if red one and red two play their cards right and lay low they can they, there's a chance for them to fire north over the river and and definitely Definitely get them in a nice little crossfire. Got an issue? That's not hemp, my man. Really? Fire. They got caught out. Getting shots from the southwest. Don't go prone there. Don't go prone there. Get over to the river. I think it's south. It's south. Yeah. If you guys, if you guys get eyes on Moscow, light it up. That is correct. Copy. All right, Piggy, if you want to get up this fire, fire team, shoot back at them. All right, in the river, let's go, in the river, in the river, in the river. In the river. Oh, my God. Not the black on ammo. Just Thank conserve, you. single rate of fire, very slow, just keep the heads down. Move, move, move. See, they, they all got caught out, and now they're going to have to try and uh, adapt. And this liver pun gets tapped. Ooh, somebody goes down. That was one kill. Who was that? Squad three. Is that a squad lead? No, that's hero. Command, we're moving through this lane to push uh, through to the river. Yeah. Rush, I need you to move quickly. If you grip the front, if you stand up. Into the open river, yeah. Hmm, maybe not. So now their south cover, their south flank is blown. Uh, contact on red spike. If you guys want to look around, I'm help you. I don't try like to look west. Try to look west. If you need to. Yeah, this 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 compound really sucks. I wonder who tossed that smoke, that red smoke? Command, four is gonna hold position so we can get some type of control of the situation. We're just taking rounds now. Roger, three, need you to uh, move it heist. Roger that. New Zealand last, what's up Chris Jones? This is quality suppression right here. You see how he's not blowing a lot of ammo. It's just boom, the one shot, two shots, two shots, three shots. Like he's not just full auto into nothing. He's shooting at the general area. It looks like another goes down. Two, no, that's the same same person. Nope. Close guy had gone down. That's two kills for the British. One kill for the or two kills for the insurgents. One kill. No kills for the British. 
Red smoke is uh, either SL, GL, or some with launcher. Yeah, see, but there's no GL. Nobody has a GL. Wait, Pony might have given the squad leads GL rounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking. Let me go check out a squad lead. Let's go find a squad lead. He might have given the squad leads a a gren uh, grenade launcher with only smoke rounds. Squad lead, squad lead. Where are you at, squad? Godzilla Pro the squad lead. Yeah, Godzilla Pro the squad. One that looks good. No, Excellent. I don't see a grenade Excellent. launcher on that. In Moss crossing the river north. Guys, work out what your angles are to get out. Weird. If you take contact down this alley, know how to get to cover. Oh, he gave the fire team leads yeah. grenade yeah. launchers yeah. with smokes. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So they have a grenade launcher with smokes. Now I know. Fire team leads have grenade launchers with smokes. Yeah, it's the fire team leads. I like that. I like the the the, the squad leads or like some some form of leadership having uh, a grenade launcher with only smokes because the HE rounds are, are good. They're great. Well, like if you know how to use them, they can be just powerful. Um, just giving them smokes though is so good. Like, I mean, hey, rather than giving out a key location, just boom, pop a smoke. You see the smoke? Shoot the smoke. Easy, You're easy peasy, easy yeah. shot, or or easy uh, corrections. It looked really square though. I felt like it looked really square. Where are you at, Blackbeard? I'm trying to get an eye on his okay. grenade launcher. Doesn't it look super Adam, square? Contacts are reported in the IX, I-674, all the way to the yes, north I have of that compound. Whoa, fuck Bro, this, dude. That's northwest. They're just trying to stay out. Stay, stay hidden. They're getting shot at. Up in those positions. Okay. And get wow. I like the aggressiveness from 3. I can appreciate the aggressiveness from 4 3. But is it too aggressive? Like, their cover is. They don't have any cover in the river. They have no support from their north. One is engaged from their southwest. Frag round out. Takes out Liberal Pundit. Uh, forces narrow, uh, spider, and Patrick start a bandage. Good frag round, whoever shot that. Patrick, to me. Yeah. Like, you can respect the aggressiveness, but it, there's, there's, there's a point where you gotta realize you're, you don't have, you don't have the support to be as aggressive as you are. Keep still, Beard, trying to spot the, spot your launcher, right? I just felt like it was a very boxy, boxy grenade launcher. It seems very British, very practical over design. Practicality over over design. But it doesn't need to look good. It just needs to work. Godzilla. Your guys out to the west should be waiting until four moves up and provides a base of fire. If they walk up to uh, INS checkpoint, just the three of them, they'll probably just die for nothing. Yep, EJ Key goes down, goes down right, for nothing. Enough. Three's breacher. Roger, they were not supposed to push up like that. They're pulling back now. Oh, Patrick Star lives through that. Wow, what an RPG. Oh, okay. It was, it was for, it looked closer than I, from the angle, it looked closer than it was. But oh man, Patrick Starr is, uh, he's just gonna have to back out of this. They have pulled out of Mosque, one has pulled east. A little oversaturated here in my opinion, is this? It has to be two two squads, yeah. This is one and two have a fire team here. It's about a full squad in this little compound area. Seen our stun guns from World War II, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, most people in, or most countries in World War II switch to the practicality. Like, the switch from, like, the Thompson to the Grease gun. Which, like, we did. Thompson's really good and all, but super, super heavy and super expensive. Good frag round. Or, or uh, that, that seemed like a heat round. 
onto uh, Adam from Hamdog. Yeah, he's just firing his heat rounds. They don't kill zero for the British, four for the insurgents. Command, my fire team has spotted enemy in I-673 on that bridge. Roger. I like this line that Ruby has set up. Again, this is this is an oversaturation of, of guys. I'm gonna go check it out actually, just to confirm. It may it may just look worse on the map than it actually is, but can they? Do they actually have Command. good eyes this direction? No, no. This is look at this. What do you need three guys like right on top of each other? What are you what are you looking at? Unknown size of element. Hmm. Spread these guys out or get them moving. One's got a fire team going for the flank though. Look at that flank. Look at that flank. That'll take a minute to come uh to complete itself, but I like that. Two should probably push up, I think. Oh no, these guys are defending. Okay, look at that. He's keeping guys to defend. He's keeping guys to defend. He understands. He knows. Boogie, I need you to move to your northeast. Immediately, I've spotted INS approximately in the Juliet 663. That's south of the Juliet 663. Uh, shots to the direct south. Don't need this fucking gun. Yeah, repeat, there is a squad. Juliet 666, maybe, across the river. Solid he copy. spotted them. He spotted one here. He's nice. Command, four is stalled out in the southern push. In the west, we were unable to get any ground, so we pushed up. Red 2 pushed to Moss, kind of encircled. Roger. You're, you're, yeah, you're actually right. Red 2 pushes up to here. They have a, a semi insurgent. How did I don't get shot and Oddball get over there? How did, how did you end up across the river? <laughs> That's the question. What are they going to do from here? What's your goal? I don't get shot. I think you're just going to get shot. The, uh, grid that, that, uh, Mark was. Tell me when it's going to be. I can't see. Location across the river, uh, it's, it's or thereabouts. Do you want me to go first? Go for it. Moving. Yeah, they're gonna fall back. Set. Moving. Really oh, nice bound there. Five, 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 five. Copy. Really I good bound there. Moving. And see, this, this is where you need to bound. Across the river. They're just gonna, they're just gonna get across. I don't get shot as marked himself for death with that name, right? Like with a name like that, just like I'm gonna call you out if you get shot. I'm gonna call you out. You don't get shot, liar. One five five on my position, boys. Uh, not really. My guys are running for the traces. Light contact, but I think they were just. There might be one out. One two seven. One two seven. It's a little, little far left. But this flank has been blown. Those targets? Oh! oh. I'm having my guys. I say I'd like to run. I can't hit them. Okay, yeah, Lex Ryan has, has eyes for Dashby here. Every time those tracers go out. Oh, I can't. They really, they really don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are getting re-engaged. Just get down. Viper, I need your Viper. Viper, Viper, Viper. Yeah, I'm going Yes. Boogie, every time we shoot, shoot back, and they I can't don't have set up traces. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, no, just set up right now. But if if gunfire, if you guys set up boys. bridges, you can shoot under the bridge. You can kill these guys. As they it come. seems blue is stalled out. One. They haven't lost too many guys. One kill for the British. Four kills for the insurgents. We engaged by that uh, that element going towards uh, towards you guys. Um, it's a little stagnant at the moment. You, you don't know which way they went. Okay, copy. Good. Uh, get your eyes there to the south, even southeast. Pages work both ways. Right. Uh, copy. Loading. Man, do you want me to pull my two-man fire team back to us? We're holding there still. 
Uh, Nate, call the next. Go ahead. Juliet, six, two, three. A, uh, full squad. Mark with blue smoke. Roger the compound, Juliet, six, two, three. Four, advise and get any sort of base of fire onto those uh, compounds to your west southwest so the three can assault. Me neither. Man, you start shooting, then everyone just starts shooting. Pretty much. Ooh. Blew us down what Lon did not want them to do. Reloading, definitely, reloading. definitely a stall here. Blue no. smoke for enemies, please no. They mark blue smoke for enemies? I don't see blue smoke anywhere. All right, north to south, let's check out locations. Okay. Albert Blythe and Gandalf. Blythe, like, from Band of Brothers? We gotta clear this shit. Was that his name? Does anybody oh, know from that, uh, the third episode yeah. of Band of Brothers? Blythe? I don't remember his first name. I just know his last name. But, uh, I like this. This is, this is the, the, this is the potential starting location for the insertion hideout. Um, I think that'll work out for them if they can, uh, maintain, uh, a presence here and allow these guys to bounce past them. Yeah. Rainbow Six, Six uh, Bill's Daddy Cyclone. Make your south to cross the river. Across the I think they just need to move. Uh, Two south of you. Give you a grid. Hey, uh, yeah. you, mind, you picked up that uh, ammo bag, right? Kilo Six, they need to move. One, one. These guys stalled out again. They need to move. They're not going to see much from here. This is a good oh, spot for a base of fire with Blackbeard and friends to to put pressure on uh, the police station. Same with Big Rago, Soft Boy, Money Man again. Good spot to put down fire onto a uh, police station line, then we move. Narrow Spider, Patrick Star. Just need to be reinforced, and then I think they can assault radio to, or uh, police station. Yeah, fairly accurate. They're moving uh, east. Look, I don't get shot, an oddball made it back. Uh, watch in the south. I guess this is an okay position to watch the south. The bridge trolls here, watch in the south. I don't hate this, though. I, 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 I think it's a. Like, the bridges. Not gonna shoot through the bridge. You got a couple different spots to go prone and lay down some fire. We I don't hate holding this bridge. Up, the and then they've got guys yeah, yeah, defending compound eight, proper. Four, four, when you're ready Good call. To down a base of fire. Um, go ahead he actually call. sent some guys out to the east. He sent Senpai and Alpha Guido out there to the east. Let's go check that out. Like he's ca like this is nice. This is really nice. They're, they're looking down yeah, the road. The direct south. The direct. South. Don't get greedy, senpai. Don't get Which greedy. Don't give away your position. The direct south. You're not. Don't get. Don't south? give away your position. The They've yeah. got to come to you. They're on the other side Copy. of the river. Yeah, near that moss thing that we were at previously. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. Is that K six five four? K six five four. Yes, sir. Really need you to put a fire. Gotcha. That's not moss south of us, but I, I see. I see him. Yeah. Yeah. Julia five three six. Hold your. Uh, you see him? Okay. Open up on them if you see him. Actually, no, 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 hold, 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 hold fire, hold fire, yeah. hold fire. We're gonna work. We're, we're gonna right. wait for them to cross, get on the other side of that wall. Roger. Hmm. Command, this is for. We're gonna move some guys up here. For the northernmost section of the checkpoint, Indy 515. Roger. Four, we are ready to push onto the compound as well. Copy, we're making a move now. Alright, looks like they're getting ready to move onto the compound. Look at this. Keep up the fire. That's, keep up the fire superiority. Allow Godzilla Pro, Narrow Spider, and Patrick Star to move up unharassed from police station proper. They don't they don't know these guys to the south. Which is like that's just information they don't have, so there's no that's the information they can't prepare for. Pump up in the river. Yeah, this is this is getting a little bit oversaturated. I liked the yeah, idea of holding this bridge, but you, you can't. There's not enough positions for six guys to fire from this bridge. Three guys tops. Tops. Not then. And, and I'm talking like two automatic riflemen and the and, and then the the squad lead with binoculars. Lead with the grenades. That's a good call. They don't know this compound is empty, but they need to move. Roger. Is this the second point? 
just lost him and us. It is a second point. Okay, okay. Juliet 502, that's to your north east one. I killed him. What is that? I mean, these guys never. Yeah, it's a little clumped up, but they, I mean, you, you, there's there's that that yeah. They're, they're, if they stack and they stay stacked like this, it's gonna be bad. But you you kind of have to to get stacked a little bit when you're gonna when you're gonna assault. You just gotta push quickly. You can't get engaged by like chupa chupa chups. Get spicing one. Spicing. Get pushed in and spread out. Spread out as soon as you get in and, and push in. There you go. He's reloading. And they're in. I don't want to get spread out. See, even Londo recognized this 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 clump. Godzilla Pro got spotted trying to get in, but they've got three in the compound. That's good. Roger, you have to get inside the compound, Godzilla. I need you there to put a radio down. It's very important. It can be literally. Oh, get shot! Get in. Doesn't have to be pretty. Oh, Godzilla, go! He got it. He's in, and they've got control. Also, have your guys get out of there as soon as it's clear. They do have IEDs. Any IED in in here? No IED. This would have been a perfect spot for an IED, honestly. Revy's falling back. Red Four is falling back to the west. Red Two is holding this line. They're gonna just hold this line with three, two, three, or uh, two, three, and four. Red One trying to make some progress across the river, but Blue Two and Blue One completely stopping them. Three, you have a place of radio. Thank you. Radio's down. Good work. We've completed two uh, radio objectives. Four, there's no doubt contact somewhere out to your west. Three, be advised, you probably uh, got contact out to your west as well. I'm gonna go check out these guys on the far east before we'll work. We'll go east and then we'll start working our way west, starting with blue two. Six, three, five. He spotted them. They see them. Looks like a Bybee has gone down to Senpai. Yeah, this position is really paying off for them. Assault is tagged. Good shit. You got one down. They're aiming at yep. me right now. Man, we're ah. engaging that fire team over here. You could put a fire team here. At least one other guy. I think this would just be devastating. But Senpai and Alpha Guido doing great work on their own. Blue off Weedo gets domed. Do you see anybody in the compound to your southwest? We're taking fire from there. Spill's daddy. I think you should pull off this senpai. What killed Guido and from where? Squally, can you pass that again? I was in fire if I couldn't hear you. I need to know how Guido died. Stand by one. Uh, command, this is uh, Squally. Uh, he got shot in the head. Yeah, I figured it wasn't the flu. Where did he get shot from? <laughs> uh, across the river or not? What's going on over there with Senpai? Roger, stand by one. Command, Command we are taking confirming. heavy fire from H685 compound. Yep. And that was so cheeky, Londres. <laughs> Alright, Roger, hold positions at this point. Two still awaiting a report on what's going on out there in the east with Senpai. Grid on uh, contacts across the river is Kilo 672. It doesn't look like they've crossed the river. Roger that. Not a bad call out. Well, about 100 meters off, but the general area is there. New FTLs to get thrown in the squad league. Gotta love them. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, so, so Londart said. Uh, his first call, uh, Gandalf and, and Spill's Daddy get tagged up. They're going to have to bandage. Um, to be fair, Londard said, um, how did he die and where from? And then he has to repeat. The, the guy asked him to repeat because he was in a firefight. And then Londard says, how did he die? 
And then he answered the question, how did he die? He got shot in the head. Honor didn't repeat, you know, from where, from where. So yeah, as the new fire team lead, he didn't know he was supposed to give, you know, direction. Because that, if, as, if you're an experienced squad lead, experienced fire team lead, you understand, you know, the, the information you should be given is, you know, troop size from what direction. Um, and, you know, sometimes you just don't know that information. And if you want to know what information you should be going over comms, you should check out our advanced leadership course. We have both our, pract our, our theory and our practical, both two courses that'll get you certified. And it sort of gives you that information of what you should be thinking about when you're the fire team lead, what should you be thinking about when you're the squad lead, how to, uh, uh, how to you know, control your guys properly and, and, and have those good, clear communications that you need. Yeah, no, hilarious. No, that was great. Direction and then size, yeah. Direction, size. You're uh, pulling back at what's, uh, what's, what's the situation? Uh, my squad mates are telling me that they were receiving fire back at uh, Juliet 561, and so we are RTVing back towards uh, the Bob there. We are, as well, we are taking fire from uh, 556, H556, and so we're uh, breaking contact as well. All right, I need you to hold that position. Don't go any further west. That is a purple patch on the map. It's a great big open field. Just um, be at base of fire. Stop them creeping along that north edge of the map border on uh, Fours Northern Flank. There's two who we're looking over right now. Tell them not to push any further west. This is actually a really nice spot to get a base of fire. I, well, come in, come in. We have yes, Kilo 6, 8, 8. They are uh, crossing the river to your east. Roger, I need over there with a fire team. And uh, favorite game to play currently right now? Um... I like I I don't think I I don't miss many ops. So squad is definitely like a game I play every every week for sure. Vanilla games not as much. I played some postscriptum recently. Um, other than that, not I don't really play too many games. I play League of Legends on occasions. World of Warcraft, Wolfpack. I'm gonna probably start playing more or playing. Just got it and uh, it looks fun. Yeah, League. No? I don't. I don't have time to. I. I, I do. I, I. work during the days and whatnot. You know. So. My time is limited. It's squad. It is. It's a lot of squad. Vanilla squad. Not as much as it, as it was. I'm. It. 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 It happens. You know. The. The. The, the patch burnout. Where you're just waiting for that new thing to come out. And I want to continue to play play squad for a long time. And the way to do that is to not burned yourself out on squad to where I just never you know you know those songs where you like you hear it over and over again like your favorite song you hear it over and over again until you hate it I don't want that to happen with squad so I've been limiting how much I play of it so I don't get burnt out and I'm like never want to see it again uh we haven't taken contact from the i6 yeah and it doesn't help that the invasion server is currently drunk at the moment And some uh, technical issues with uh, squad that has made it less fun to play during vanilla game. Roger. Make sure that you guys are well split up. Don't all be in a little single file creeping down that um, creek because that is a uh, killing zone. Make sure planning spread out. Roger. Don't jump back where the bullets are landing. Two, how was the contact that you were pushing the north side of the map? Two, do you copy? It's like two is moving again. Gold on both sides. That's what it seems like. Blue Force made some progress. They probably made the most progress. These guys have stalled. Well, I don't think they... Technically, they don't need to be moving. Red 3 or, or Red Team has done a great job setting up a line preventing Blue from pushing through. And it's a nice looking spread. Look at the map. Good spacing. Good... Well, <laughs> looks like he goes down. Was he on a roof? I bet he was on a roof. No, he was not. How did he die? Where did he die from? What was he trying to do? We had a one times AR on the bridge there. 
But like, look at this spread. Plenty of room to watch for grenades. Good cover. Good eyes. Revy is really. I, I've enjoyed how Revy has is, is positioned his guys. Every single time he's squad leader that I've, I've commentated, like, I've enjoyed his, his position of his. It's, it's like picturesque. Look at Red One. Yeah, let's actually look at. Yeah, Red One's making some progress. And Londarts is pushing Red One. Londarts has us almost a full squad, about seven guys pushing Red Team. He's not going to allow them to backdoor him and take out his fob. Really Copy that. Dash be reminding him of spacing. We've got the room to spread out. Let's do that. Spy, I'm on you. Boogie, we're going to have to cross this river, so I need you to get uh, a couple of guys set up. They don't know. So they don't know he's crossed. Oh, no. We shots from the south. Senpai needs to continue watching their east if they want to catch this. Roger that three. Just spread they out. don't know. Shoot back at them. I need to uh, send them out so we can find a way to get through. Bondarts is with his guys, yeah. Bondarts being very forward with his commanding this round. They have no idea. Three guys, your nightmare, hell cool, and assault against the world. Just imagine. Right here. They just gotta move up right here. Easy money. Senpai is looking. He's maintaining that security. But Assault has done a good job in keeping his guys low. Just across the river at 132, straight southeast. Last known contact across the river. All right, send a buddy pair out to the uh, to the east. We need to do this quickly. We're losing too many uh, guys up there on the uh, update on kills. Five, five kills for the British, there. eight kills for the insurgents. So within three still, still anybody's game. British have completed two of their objectives. They just need to move to their final objective to get on the defense. Because right now they are on the offense. They are the ones having to push through all of this contact. If they can push through this contact, get to their point at F635. F635, hemp. So then they can, uh, then they're suddenly switch. Roughly 30 meters northwest. Roger that, four save two can get suppression on that. But this line that uh, Revy has set up is going to be super, super hard for them to push through. Chupa Chompa Chups, Chupa Chompa Chups, Toxic Rebel, and uh, Kablamo going to hold this line, though. Firing at Stalker, Revy, and friends. Stalker, Tanker, and Revy. Say again, squad lead. Contact is northwest, the force position. Unnamed to say, Chupa Chompa Chups. It's just like uh, King Salmon Fish God. It's another fun name to say. Roger, I'm gonna shift my machine gun fire to that position right now. Command that contact is pulling southwest. Roger. Yeah. That's actually good. These guys are 100% unspotted. Buddy team moves over. Of, uh, I don't get shot in oddball. Take it back across the river, looking for con looking for trouble. A little close together right here. Go to watching on the road. Other than that, spacing is just impeccable from the uh, the Russian or excuse me from the insurgents. Three, are you able to see Mosque from where you are? And if so, is there any uh, activity in it? Here's not so good. Oh, Chris and Dwarf right on top of each other. Can you repeat, uh, command. Are you able to get binos on Mosque from your position? That risk your neck. Taking our blue location. Anything over there? These guys are told not to uh, move. Probably, try. rightfully so. They don't have a so medic here. There's a lot of guys who have already been shot. They just need to maintain uh, that base of fire for when they do approach. Red's pushing. Red's pushing Money Man. Oh, Money Man and Saloon. Firing at Seethers. Goes down. 
Two is gonna have the angle on them. There's more of them. Oh, and they got caught out. 100% they are caught out. Smoke coming in, incoming. There's smoke, entering smoke. One is. They're moving left. The, uh, moving left. Blue is moving shot. south across the street, and uh, red one is moving uh, around to get this bob. Yeah, if that smoke was a frag, I think that would have killed Forster. But that smoke is more of just marking smoke. In the red smoke, I think uh, is a good call. Oh, Captain Dillon gets just domed by Saloon. Yeah, that was a close shot that came in on me. It might have hit you ugly. Seven to nine. Gap is less than three now. Really horrible position. Yeah, command. I have eyes on right towards southwest. They're moving. Uh, looks like back south. Roger, if you could coordinate uh, fire from Sebi and Viper onto that, and let's uh, move on to it and take it out. Uh, stay here for now. I'm going to try to get you a better position. Cut it. Yeah, this round is very close, Mr. Command, they're also to the south of us. To the south, Roger. They're pushing up on the compound to our south. The so frost has gone down. Lima Bean, Vladimir, and Zeke. The ones who get spotted by uh, I don't get shot, Oddball, Boogie, and Dash B. Red one may be able to. Where's Red one? Not even see them. They 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 may be able to just come in and, and take this objective, no problem. Yeah, historically, Pony has some amazing ambushes on Cora. Like, the last, like, two or three Cora ops, Pony has just had crazy um, ambushes where he's getting, like, seven or eight kills in, in a little, like, in a matter of seconds. Copy. Yeah, they're moving Three, you're still taking contact to south. Ooh. Not an NSA spy takes out one. Roger. I don't know how he got on this flank. We've also seen pop shots to the west. Lime Bean and Vladimir yeah, trying to push through this building towards Dashby. Like six, four, three. That's the, uh, no, because I was a victim one. On Everybody has at one point or another fallen prey to a, a pony flank. He's always, he, he, he enjoys being that flanking squad. Frag out onto Lima Bean. Oh, landed on the wrong roof. Of that was just a a a degree to the left, his left. I think it'll land it. Oh. Frag out, underhanded onto Oddball. Takes out. I don't get shot. He didn't get shot. Didn't get shot. I'll give him that. He he blew up. <laughs> so, I guess that's one. You win this time. I don't get shot. At least namesake wise, Three. he does go down. You win have any contact to yourself still. Godzilla, do you have any contact to yourself still? Trying to get words out of Godzilla. Looks like he's having a lot of trouble here. A lot of his guys bandaging possibly from grenades. Squad leader three do you be? Yeah, he's in heavy contact right now. He can't hear. He can't hear over Patrick. Low. All right, he dropped. He dropped. Hold. Godzilla, Man, we are still in contact to the south. Roger. I need you to push as best you can to the west. Same uh, goes for you. Four and two. I need you all moving to your west. One, we need to expedite this uh, clear out of this compound. Start pushing west on our final objective. Make sure everyone in your squads knows the final objective is Foxtrot Six Three Five. Roger.
I'm a really okay spots by Patrick here. They need to start moving west. This line is just, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough for them to push through. 10 kills for the British, 12 to the insurgents. They're keeping it within two. Looks like Ford's going to start pushing. Let's go. Let's follow them in. I told you. Yeah, this is one person like this. One out and keep it uh, on target. Let's go fast. Yeah, let's uh, do it. Just be advised, I don't have enough in my head to like. Roger. No one's saying anything right now. Copy. I'm gonna push this a little bit. H hang back, hang back. I don't okay. want you to die. It's just me and you, <laughs> Yeah, spacing is a little lackluster for the British. They're a little, they're, yeah, they're a little clumped up. Ooh, looks like they've come in a really, really heavy contact on the south. Oh, they got just destroyed. A lot of guys went down in that engagement. You can catch me in that compound one. So many people just died. Three. Order command. We pretty much stalled out where we are. We're attempting to get some type of headroom to our west, but it's looking pretty tough out here. Roger, I need you to do the best you can. Keep on now moving. If I go down, just remember uh, I get uh, compound Foxtrot 635. Yeah, that was getting intimate. <laughs> Alright, we need to pull back from Man, this Man, we're going to uh, be assaulting guys. the compound in yeah. H659. The, these guys here, th there. that's value for these guys. These Vladimir, it was like three people. They did lose all but one, well, we but they took out like four or five me. in that uh, engagement. Lundart and Dashby, only two remaining from this push. Assault managing to get his guys Man, into this compound. We'll see what happens if they have to fall back or not. Negative. We need to uh, move out to the west. It's nowhere near the objective. Is it worth it now? Uh, see, Lon did say he didn't want to push this compound, and then he sort of changed gears to let's clear the compound out in a hurry and then move on. So maybe if he had not switched gears and just said bypass it and keep moving, maintain that rear security like he wanted to, he'd have been able to just move past it. 13 kills for the British, 17 for the insurgents. Gap is spreading a little bit now with uh, four. Look at this. Clumped up, clumped of one grenade takes out four people. No plan survives contact, right? Hey, Nugget, go, go ahead and push this uh, Russell Bravo. I have no idea. Assault too late. I believe assault is too late to uh, to push that point. They've already got the second flag. Yeah, I can hear him. Yeah. Here, are you ready? Oh, Godzilla Pro goes down to Hawk. So if you let Dash be, no, I'm covering him so we can move over to me. Underhanded grenade, right? An underhanded grenade from uh, So Hard or Hawk. If you could grab your other blue break to fall back to you. Be uh, uh, pretty, pretty brutal yeah. for these guys. Wow, look at this. Roger that three. I need you to keep shooting to your west best you can. Sorry, God. I don't know how Thor passed these guys up, but he's, he's already killed them, that's why. Those two go down to, uh, the yeah, Thor. Thor taking over for four. Roger. Contact's close on this compound to ourselves. Thor takes out Alby. squad. Foxtrot 635 is our objective way out to the west. Sorry, you repeat last. Foxtrot 635 is our objective way out to the They're, west. The British are finally pushing. Air, uh, Adam Hawken and, and uh, Unagi are so so. Uh, like I don't like their I don't like his positioning here, but it's working. 
Like, well, the, I don't know, the, the idea of sitting there in the middle of the road, I don't think should be working, but it's working. Hawk's actually got a really nice position next to the slow wall watching down the roads. But yeah, this is definitely stopping them from, uh, from progressing any further west. Wow, YouTube is way behind. I believe it. YouTube uh, definitely gets that way. Man, you want me to reinforce three or go around them on their south? Yes. Okay, copy. If you can make it on their south side, that's also good. Solid. Uh, in yeah, the river, south side of the river. One be advised, be careful to your north. If it's stupid, but it works, it, it ain't stupid. I mean, copy. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's still stupid. <laughs> You're taking shots from the south. Somehow it came off live stream. Oh, you you just rewinded. Asalin is on a whole different level. Yeah, Godzilla it is definitely on a on its own level. You gotta you gotta learn to uh, prioritize comms, listen to to a bunch of different chatter, and and figure out what needs to be uh, what needs to be done. All in a matter of seconds. Update on kills. 16 kills for the British, 24 for the insurgents. That gap is growing ever wider. I, think, I don't think the, the British are going to be able to complete their objective. They're just too spread out. They need to regroup, re reorganize, and figure out how they're going to complete, uh, or where they're going to, where they're going to regroup to complete their objective. I think I have no idea. Of, uh, I don't know what the call is. I guess the only open areas are through fields. Hamdog goes down to Thor. I'm trying to push the best you can to the west. You need to uh, do it by buddy team. Make it happen. Have two guys shoot, two guys move, for instance, repeat. Copy. Gregor and Thor, all alone on the north. Main push is going to be from this mid uh, midpoint of three and one with only five guys. Let's get an actual count. Let's see who's up. Three, six, eight. Here, so ten. Squad plus one. Squad plus command left. Scattered. That is. Russian, or not Russian, insurgent forces, count. Ooh, what an IED. Takes out Patrick Starr. About 16. So about double for the insurgents. About, about what it was last round. At about this point, last round, it was about double double the insurgents versus the British. And, that, and I'm not saying the British can't do it. The British almost brought it back. It was within three last round uh, near the end. But the British are definitely in a worse spot. They are not on. They are, they are still on the offense. They still need to continue moving west, whereas the, the um, insurgents can afford to hit and run tactics. The, uh, the Splatoon. Down, uh, right, I, uh, just continue to whittle them down. Yeah, just been informed by. Where's um, buddy goes down? I mean that we need to push, so I understand that's difficult, gentlemen. But do the best you can do. Yeah, copy that under one. Do they pull back, regroup, and then hammer force them? I th I think that's the call. They just they're not in a position to regroup. There's insurgents cutting off groups from each other. There's insurgents in between everybody. Like big Thor, Thor's not gonna get to be able to regroup. He's got salt crits, Thor, pipe funk, like four or five guys in between him and his friendlies, and he's got guys pushing him from his east. Thor sees dwarf, misses dwarf, sees salt crits, takes a shot at salt crits, and then runs. He's spotted though. Dwarf gets him on the vaults. That that deals with that moving point. I'm not gonna Excellent, try and you. get held up. 
That was fun. Right, Kyle? I, I definitely think our, our One Life events are a lot of fun. Def more fun than our vanilla games, or any any vanilla games, really. Um, just because they're a little more organized. They're, 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 the, the objectives are different. You fight in parts of the map that you normally wouldn't fight on. I think that's my, my best favorite thing about our, our, our ops. Yeah, the objectives are fun. The One Life aspect is a lot of fun. But you fight in areas that you normally wouldn't fight on. Because, like, AAS, Invasion, you fight on the point if you want to win. Here, it's like you have to do something, and and you're 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 fighting in areas that aren't as advantageous as they normally would be. There's no set like strats that that work every single time because they're different every single time. You don't get caught in the same spots. It's it's different in a good way. I can hear it even though it's the beginning of the game. Nor turned away just as Dwarf ran in front of him. Yeah, and he tried to get his shots. He missed him, but he. Yeah, uh, yeah, he he definitely he missed his shots and then paint for it looks like chicken nugget and arrow spider is going to break contact move southwest they're going to hook up yeah they're just going to continue moving west as fast as possible try and get to their end location which is f635 i'd like to move my mouse thank you f635 being about here here they're moving as fast as they can just get into that objective they don't have any squ there's not going to be a squad lead there to throw down that fob uh, unless uh, Bondars can make it. Which can he? Is he in a position to make it? Maybe. Let's listen in on him. They're going to go check out the guys moving on to the point proper. Is he talking to Dashby and the local? Yeah, we'll just keep pushing west. Watch her. We're just going to keep pushing west. Try and get to that point. Contact on the point. It's falling. Uh, they're moving west. They're east. Uh, Juliet six one eight. Full auto. Full miss. He's a, he, go that's go. what happens. You shoot full auto at any range besides CQB, like reaching a door, you're gonna miss. And even then, I just like to tap fire, single fire, just really fast. Run forest run. Keep going. Get to the point. Get to the point. He he moved through the field. He's behind the trees. You got me on local. I don't think he can't hear you anymore. They're at a local range. Loading on the move. I'm gonna try and maneuver my guys to the west side of the compound we're supposed to be attacking. If you can just head straight at it, uh, southeast and south. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So it's the one to your northwest, yeah, Foxtrot 635. Seven versus. How many? I mean, seven. 19. There's a big chunk of one here still alive. Not an NSA spy, just suppressing. Gonna allow Sebi V and Viper to push up unharassed. Well, we'll find out, I guess. They're I'm reloading real quick, and then we're gonna push her. This is final assault, so let's go. We're just gonna be doing a lot of running the rabbit. How's it look, Sebi? Uh, we're on the compound now, they're definitely inside, we're going to be breaching. Roger, do you want to have you guys on the uh, outside move up? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Breach, breach, breach. In here. Go right, go right. Oh, they got flanked. Oh, yep, you got him. He's down, he's down. There's a guy on our right, I think. Right, right where you just left. Viper takes out Storm. Good shots on Storms. May go down to Miyamoto, though, as he looks left instead of right. Look at the sneaky spot for Miyamoto in those trees. Sebi V's gonna vault over. Oh, no, he's not. That would have been so good. Oh, firefight and they trade. Miyamoto, ver uh, 
goes down to Sebi. Sebi goes down to Miyamoto. Viper on the point alone. Location secure with the most loose of air quotes. Um, salt crits and dwarf gonna try and flank chicken spider and uh, chicken nugget and narrow spider. Here's Camille. There they are. And we'll check out Chicken Nugget and Narrow Spider because they're most likely going to go down here in the next couple seconds. <laughs> I'm down. This is. I don't know what the objective is. He, he doesn't know the objective. That means the information wasn't crossed, crossed, um, or passed down appropriately through the command. Uh, command Are we allowed panel. to use text chat? I don't know, we're soon to crawl. In this so many times, someone is watching an angle as the enemy approaches, and as the enemy is about to come into view, the first guy looks a different way. Yeah, it's just the worst possible timing. Just terrible, terrible timing. Viper being swung in on. Chicken Nugget, try to link up with your closest friendlies. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go to five. Woo. Fuck, they Viper, all alone here. What's he gonna do? No, Viper, what are you doing? <laughs> he goes down a pipe funk. You don't need to be so aggressive, man. You you were fine. You were in, you were where you needed to be. He goes down. Dash B Londar's not gonna have that third guy to lay down the fob. Rip Viper. Two here, two here. Last four remaining. Viper or uh, Londarts, Dash B, uh, Chicken Nugget, and Narrow Spider versus about, you know, 16 other insurgents. You able to suppress that for me, Chu? I can. They see him. I wish I had a frag grenade. I'll suppress him for you. I think I know roughly. Yeah, you. he's. I need a frag grenade, but I don't have one. Good shots, really accurate on just stalking okay, I'm watching the wall. He can't get the angle, Dashby may go him. down here. Oh, what a headshot on a stalker. Dashby, contact to our south, I think. South King. I think I was just shot at from the south. No, that was the guy we... They were shot at from the south, from Dwarf. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it, make sure you can see me. You gotta stay kinda close. Uh, I mean, it's spread out still though, in case someone throws a grenade. Okay, we'll spread thing. out then, we'll spread out. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Not even near them, and they're scared. Just so on edge. Dash be pushing salt crits and dwarf. Oh, I see what he's doing. Gonna wait for them to go through this opening. Long up, yeah, Mr. Easy, we're near it. This is a long one. Dashby's gonna go down here to dwarf. No salt crits, excuse me. Assault goes down to Londarts. Londarts, Narrow Spider, and Chicken Nuggets. Only three remaining. They're watching this road though. Look at this crossfire that uh, Vladimir and uh, Hellcool have. Watching the road. They don't know Chicken Nuggets and uh, Air Spider are here. They have no idea. Look at them. They're looking over them. Dash tried. 
Yeah, but, uh, but yet this op is uh, running, running a little bit long, nearing the three hour mark for the full op. We've been crawling on our like dicks for the past like 20 minutes, but we're here. Oh, I'm, I'm looking over the thing. Oh, Three versus. <laughs> Chicken Nuggets goes down. Londarts faces no, Dwarf. Londarts goes down to Dwarf. That pistol fight. Narrow Spider. Last man standing. Londarts, can you hear me? Londarts is dead. Narrow Spider against the world. One versus 13. And Salt Critz is spotted. Uh, no, he has not. He's just shooting. Last man crawling. They're just shooting at the dirt. Like, they're just shooting at any and all the locations. They're gonna run up on Narrow Spider. No, he sees him. He sees him. Oh, door passed him up. There he goes. Narrow Spider goes down. Vladimir, I believe, is the one who, who got the finishing blow. So, what it it, it, it it came down to the stall, I believe. The the British forces stalled out. They they allowed the the insurgents to maneuver on them and then get set up in very just like picture perfect lines. Specifically, like I, I, it, it was towards the the middle points. Just a very nice He's north back. to south line with a southern uh, presence across the river that prevented the flank. And and. It just came down to just lack of aggression from the British. They, they, it was within two, three kills for the most part. It did, it wasn't until the very end where that spread happened. Yeah. Early loss of momentum for the Blue Force. Yeah, I, I agree. Just very, or once that momentum was lost and allowed the, the insurgents to start dictating the pace, it was over for the British. Good job on them. They managed to keep it close for a long time.